The Simpsons has made itself incredibly famous for its sly nods towards pop culture, and some of the show's finest gags stem from the world of cinema. The witty series is filled with movie references that range from blink and miss single frames to recreations of entire scenes and extended episode long homages. I'm Kyle with Wicked Binge, and today we bring you our 25 favorite movie references in The Simpsons. Starting out with Jaws. Jaws is Steven Spielberg's 1975 blockbuster thriller in which a quiet resort town is terrorized by persistent attacks from a great white shark. The Simpsons hinted at this aspect of the film in the season 4 episode titled Lisa's First World, which involves a flashback detailing Homer and Marge's search for a first home. Hey Homer, this house sucks. The scene depicts Captain Allister's houseboat, which closely resembles that of Robert Shaw in Jaws. The boat is also attacked by a great white shark, just like in the movie. Terminator 2. In the Simpsons season 5 episode, Homer Loves Flanders, Ned and his family try to spend some time away from Homer and take a break from his constant presence. But when Homer spots them speeding into the distance, he goes after them while wielding a golf club in each hand and eventually latches onto the back of the car. I guess he didn't see me. The scene is quite similar to the sequence in Terminator 2, where T-1000 chases the escaping heroes. A Clockwork Orange Of all the references to Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange that The Simpsons has adopted over the years, this one is definitely our favorite. In the Season 4 episode, Treehouse of Horror 3, there's a Halloween party at The Simpsons' house, and Bart can be seen dressed as Alex, the leader of the brutal gang of youngsters dressed in white shirts, bowler hats, and eye makeup. Basic Instinct In the first episode of Season 6, titled Who Shot Mr. Burns Part 2, groundskeeper Willie starts an investigation of his own surrounding Mr. Burns shooting. If you look closely, the entire setting of Willie's interrogation will remind you of Sharon Stone's in the thriller Basic Instinct. The Fugitive After Milhouse is placed on the list of America's most wanted criminals in the Season 6 episode Lisa's Rival, he's held at gunpoint by an agent who looks a lot like Tommy Lee Jones' character from the movie The Fugitive, aka US Marshal Sam Girard. The cop also says, I don't care, in the same way Milhouse tries to convince him that he isn't guilty. I didn't do anything. I don't care. The Karate Kid. In The Simpsons Season 2 episode, Dead Putting Society, Lisa is shown mentoring Bart for the crazy golf tournament. You actually found a practical use for geometry. In one of the exercises during his practice, Bart poses on a bin which mimics the crane position in the Karate Kid. When he practices balancing on a bin at the shoreline with the sun shining in the background. Raiders of the Lost Ark In the season 3 episode, Bart's friend falls in love, the show delivers a sequence that's closely inspired by Steven Spielberg's action-adventure Raiders of the Lost Ark. The original moment from the film shows Indiana Jones enduring a cave of traps and spiders, right before a massive trap is triggered in the form of a giant ball that chases him down a tunnel. In the Simpsons episode, this scene is recreated with great attention to detail, whether it's Bart wiping the sweat off of his face just like Dr. Jones, or Homer resembling the giant boulder as he rolls down the stairs. Planet of the Apes After hosting infomercials and accepting several low-level acting gigs, Troy McClure finally lands a valuable role in Season 7, Episode 19. He gets a role in the musical version of the 1968 movie Planet of the Apes, which is given an alternate name in the episode, Stop the Planet of the Apes, I Want to Get Off. The Red Balloon This 1956 film narrates the tale of a boy named Pascal who befriends a bright red balloon that follows him through Paris into school. The Simpsons made a reference to the red balloon in an episode from Season 1 titled The Creps of Wrath. After Bart returns from a terrible cultural exchange in France, he brings everyone gifts, including a red balloon, which he gives to Maggie. So basically, I met one nice French person. The Terminator In the 1984 film The Terminator, the robo-assassin sizes up people using a red-tinted vision, scanning them for potential threats. A small recreation of the scene is shown in The Simpsons Season 2 episode Principal Charming, where Homer sizes everyone he sees in the Quickie Mart with a similar robotic scan. Gone with the Wind 
In the same episode, Principal Skinner is frustrated after his failed romance with Marge's sister Patty. Due to this, he yells, tomorrow is another school day, with his fist pointing towards a red and angry sky with Springfield High in the background. Tomorrow is another school day! This scene is a parody of the movie Gone with the Wind, which features Scarlet's line at the end, tomorrow is another day. Rear Window in the first episode of season 6, Bart spies on his neighbors using a telescope and seemingly witnesses a crime. I'm a murderer! I'm a murderer! Soon afterwards, Lisa Simpson arrives at the suspect's house to collect evidence, only to find herself in grave danger later on. I came to stop you from murdering Lisa like you murdered your wife! This entire scene is reminiscent of Alfred Hitchcock's movie Rear Window, in which Grace Kelly's character Lisa faces the same turbulent situation. Thelma and Louise The Simpsons did a great parody of the 1991 film Thelma and Louise with the season 5 episode 6 Marge on the Lamb. The reference to this film is especially prominent during the final scene of the episode. Solid waste, I could kiss you! The Wizard of Oz In the season 2 episode Bart gets hit by a car, Bart wakes up from an out of body experience before saying, I did go away mom, I was miles and miles away, writhing in agony in the pits of hell. And you were there, and you, and you, and you. This is a classic reference to The Wizard of Oz, in which Dorothy wakes up on her bed after having returned from Oz. She points one by one towards her friends and family surrounding her, indicating that they were all in Oz with her. Doesn't anybody believe me? Cinderella The Simpsons movie from 2007 made an obvious Cinderella reference when small bluebirds flutter around Homer and Marge in an attempt to dress and undress them, much like those flocking to Cinderella and tying her apron in the classic movie. Goodfellas The season 3 episode Bart the Murderer nods to the 1990 movie Goodfellas when Bart purchases a suit right after he starts earning as a bartender. Notice how this suit resembles the one worn by Henry Hill in the classic Scorsese film. You Only Live Twice The 1967 movie You Only Live Twice features the iconic reveal of 007 nemesis and evil genius Ernst Stavro Blofeld as he spins in a chair while petting his white blue-eyed cat. You only live twice, Mr. Bond. In the Simpsons episode Duffless from season 4, Bart adopts the same chair spinning act after he cleverly steals Lisa's hamster. The Godfather Similar to the Godfather moment where the severed head of the prized horse is found under a man's silk sheets, Lisa Simpson screams at the sight of a horse's head in her bed in the season 3 episode Lisa's Pony. Midnight Express In the season 3 episode Treehouse of Horror 2, custom guards reveal a stash of contraband souvenirs strapped on Homer's belly, a scene which takes us back to the 1978 film Midnight Express. Billy Hayes was caught at Istanbul airport the same way, with packs of illegal drugs taped to his body. Psycho the ninth episode of season 9, titled Itchy and Scratchy and Marge, features an almost shot-for-shot -shot reconstruction of Marion Crane's brutal death at the Bates Family Motel in the 1960 film Psycho. Besides the same stabbing action, we also see Maggie lift a mallet and Homer collapse. The cut to the eye and cut to the drain, the only difference being the red paint instead of real blood. She's got that crazy look in her eyes again! The Untouchables In an attempt to get Homer into Springfield University, Mr. Burns tries to pull off Al Capone's trick from The Untouchables. In the 1987 crime drama, Al Capone attacks one of his henchmen with a baseball bat after faking a speech about teamwork. I'm giving you the beating of your life. 2001 A Space Odyssey Homer has a one-of-a-kind experience with the Spine Melter 2000 massage chair in the season 3 episode Brother Can You Spare Two Dimes. I'll take it! This is a perfect homage to the hallucinatory final scenes of the film 2001 A Space Odyssey, during which flashing lights can be seen on Dave's visored face. Ben-Hur In order to compete against Martin and Nelson, Bart constructs his own street racer after taking up soapbox racing. His cart's barbed wheels are just like those spotted in Masala's cart from the 1959 movie Ben-Hur. Even the final race between Bart and his competitors is heavily influenced by the film. The Natural In the 1984 movie The Natural, baseball player Roy Hobbs calls his own crafted bat Wonder Boy which he makes from a blasted tree. Homer does the exact same thing during the season 3 episode Homer at the Bat, except that he names his creation Wonder Bat. Check it out boys, my magic 
bet. Titanic. The Simpsons movie mimics the scene from Titanic when the ship is halfway under the ocean and continues sinking vertically. In the Simpsons version, punk rock band Green Day perform on a barge floating in Lake Springfield before everyone starts throwing litter at them, causing the lake to get polluted. That's when the barge begins to sink into the lake, while Green Day plays Nearer My God to Thee on violins. The Simpsons have been around for three decades, so there are plenty of other movie references we missed. Let us know in the comments section which movie reference is your favorite. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and binge our other videos. But most importantly, stay wicked.